Yes, the mainstream media will never follow up this story. If a Republican could say this, they could have been calling to censor him. Representative Dan apologized for his word choice after saying Donald Trump must be eliminated. This man had an interview with Jen Psaki. I want to also turn to Trump, of course, and just some of what the reporting has been around uh, some of his conversations. Also, as we anticipate a year full of trials next year, I want to take a listen to part of a conversation that he had with uh, ABC's Jonathan Carl about January 6th and get your thoughts on the other end. You told them you were going to go up to the Capitol, were you just... I was, no, I was going to, and the Secret Service said, you can't, and then by the time I would have, and then when I got back, I saw, I wanted to go back, I was thinking about going back during the problem to stop the problem, doing it myself. Secret Service didn't like that idea too much. So, so what... And I could so have done that, and you know what, I would have been very well received. So there's been so much speculation, contemplation, discussion of what Trump wanted to do, what he knew or didn't know. I mean, do you think as a prosecutor, former prosecutor, this is something that could be useful in the case against Trump? How will it be used? Yeah, well, I mean, look, he says uh, I would be well received because he knows that the people who were there are his supporters who he riled up and incited to invade and riot at the Capitol and try to disrupt the proper counting of the Electoral College votes. So every time he talks, he's uh, putting himself into a bigger criminal hole. Uh, but the, but his, that's not his objective. His objective mm. is purely political at this point. Uh, politics don't work in a courtroom, as I think he's finding out in the mm. New York Attorney General case in New York, a civil case, and, and that's going to continue in his criminal trials. But his rhetoric is really getting dangerous, more and more dangerous. And we saw what happened on January 6th when he uses inflammatory rhetoric now, and his recent True Social post uh, is incredibly, incredibly scary for anyone uh, that might be trying to op work in government. And um, it is just uh, unquestionable questionable at this point that that man cannot see public office again. He is not only unfit, he is destructive to our democracy, uh, and he has to be, uh, he has to be eliminated. Yes, the mainstream media will never follow up these. They will not even report on these. A court uh, in, in Colorado two days ago ruled that, that he led an insurrection against the United States government. He's charged with leading schemes to help overthrow the United States government. So so if they want to frame it uh, that way, that's fine. If, if you want to be fair, if you want to be fair, then you will frame this uh, as uh, Joe Biden being the candidate that supports American democracy and Donald Trump, a candidate who supports a new form of government here, this authoritarian. It's really that simple. And by the way, Reverend Allen, people go, oh, you can't compare him he to past kidding. Nazi leaders. You can't compare him to this past Nazi leader or that past fascist leader because he hasn't done that. Well, what hasn't he done? He hasn't done the things that the American judicial system did not allow him to do last time, but may very well allow him to do this time or a judicial system that will be ignored by Donald Trump and ran over by Donald Trump to create the greatest constitutional crisis of our lifetimes. Just because he hasn't done it yet doesn't mean he won't do it when he gets a chance to do it. He's and if he is about. voted into office, then a lot of these people that are talking about literal or figurative or whatever the hell they're saying. You can clearly see how these people are frightened by Trump. They are not sleeping well. They continue to say this. If Trump is president today, he will do this, he will do that. I don't know why they are frightened. Because if you are doing your job, you know, rightly and not causing trouble or going after people, you will not be scared. When Trump will be president, he will just take up the decision to go after people he deemed necessary. Or it is insane. I believe Trump alone cannot take up certain decisions just to go after people.
it must be approved on some certain levels. When these people keep singing this, putting fears into people's mind, I don't get the point. Why are they only thinking that Trump coming back to the White House is full of revenge? That is something I've seen and I question myself, why are these people even saying this? If they were not guilty of something, they would not be frightened this way. If you have a clean heart, allow every person to run, why continue to be afraid? You can see Morning Joy here clearly saying this. Thank you guys. There is one thing I want to say. If you notice on some of these videos, you get echoes. Please pardon me. I'm still working to remove this. Most of the videos I put, I see your comment how people are saying there is echoes on the sound. Why is still working? I cannot stop reporting videos. I just have to report so you can see exactly what is going on on a daily basis. According to this article, Representative Dan apologized for his word choice after saying Donald Trump must be eliminated. Democratic Representative Gunman of New York issued an apology after saying that former President Donald Trump must be eliminated. Gunman had made the comment while speaking to former White House Press Secretary Jen. The congressman said it is unquestionable that Trump cannot see public office again. He described the former president as unfit and destructive to our democracy before adding he has to be eliminated. You know how Democrats always pick up words like this and prolong it for a very long time. And even words like this can come with consequences. If this was a Republican representative saying this, you will not rest. It is insane how these people do some kind of things and they just go free. Godman later apologized for his word choice yesterday on TV. I basically used the wrong word to express the importance for America that Donald Trump does not belong or Donald Trump does not become president again Why he must be defeated. I certainly wish no harm to him and do not condone Political violence, I apologize for the poor choice of word he noted in a post on X. You can see it clearly here. Democrat don't take to apology. I can remember a lot of representatives, especially in the Republican Party, doing sending out apologies, but they will not take that into consideration. They will say proceed with their agenda. So have you seen a lot of Republicans actually reacting to this? They are silent. Last week, Goldman proclaimed office was vandalized with messages, including one which read, Let Gaza live. The lawmaker, which Jewish, was in Israel at the time of the horrific camp attack in October, but was, but was able to safely return to the U.S. with his family, Congressman Goldman, his wife, and three youngest children. The main arguments that we're hearing from candidates not named Trump is that he can't win. And that argument is falling on deaf ears with this New Hampshire Republican primary electorate. Look Justice lead coincides with our 20.